procedure goes, what are the benefits versus the risks? Well, the, the benefits of uterine fibroid embolization are many. Um, one, it's completely non-surgical, so it's much safer than surgery. Uh, the patients, as I say, come in to the hospital in the morning. Um, the procedure itself takes 45 minutes to an hour. They have a brief recovery period of four or five hours at the hospital and then go home the same day with just a Band-Aid. That's amazing. Uh, the recovery period is about four days at home, so I tell patients take a week. So the patients are, the, the surgery is much more invasive, m much riskier. Um, my patients are, you know, back to work, back in the game much quicker, and they keep their uterus, yeah. which, you know, say there, there are consequences of not having your uterus. Well, I mean, as a gastroenterologist, I see a lot of patients who come to me with pain in the pelvis uh, and the, a lot of other complications of uterine fibroids. They have their inability to, uh, to manage sexual relationships mm -hmm. sh ships at home because of either pain, uh, they come to present with anemia yes. because of uh, bleeding from the fibroids, uh, and so you're, we're getting rid of all of these. Absolutely. There are over a million women in this country right now that we call the silent sufferers. Mm -hmm. They basically just bleed very heavily every month. It, it's flooding and gushing, large clots. Um, it's very disabling. And they don't want hysterectomy. So they basically pad themselves up. In fact, maybe even wear adult diapers yes. wow. and just pad themselves up as much as possible and kind of suffer with this. It right. really truly is right. suffering. It's not living. Right. They're suffering. They're chronically anemic, as you say. They're right. tired. They're weak. Right. Um, they're just, but they don't want hysterectomy and they yeah. don't know of any other option. Right. And that's why this program and others are so important yeah. to empower women with information. If you're suffering with fibroids, you don't have to have surgery. You can keep your uterus. You can have this outstanding procedure and really get your life back. Right. When you're talking about the silent sufferers, I mean, the things that people hate to talk about and until they get into the privacy of your office is sex. Correct. And what happens is um, there are so many women who are with fibroids where sex is so painful that they oh, don't want to have absolutely. sex. Absolutely. Very painful to have sexual relations or they're bleeding and the flooding. Yeah, right. You just don't feel sexual. If you're right. flooding and gushing all the right. time, you don't right. feel like having right. sexual relations or you're anemic, you're right. tired. Right. You know, it's exercise, let's face right. it. So you you don't feel you don't feel sexual, you feel uncomfortable about it, you're right. it's just miserable, right. but you get your life back. With UFE, it's it's tremendous. Mm -hmm.